Well, I have talked to those Navy pilots, and they are sure that they saw something real. And of course, we've seen their video from their jets. What is it? We don't know. So now that I'm here at NASA, I've turned to our scientists, and I've said, would you, looking at it from a scientific standpoint, see if you can determine so that we can have a better idea. Uh, we don't know if it's extraterrestrial. We don't know if it's an enemy. We don't know if it's an optical phenomenon. We don't think so because of the characteristics that those Navy jet pilots described as they saw it move around. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. The bottom line is we want to know. And that's what we're trying to do. What do you think it is? I mean, what's your personal take on it? I don't have an idea. That's why I turned to our scientists. And Let's what have they said to you? Well, they're looking into it. Would you like me to call you when I get an answer? Please, because I want to know just as much as you want to know, just as much as the public of, wants to of know. Of course. And, you know, the Pentagon, they will soon release their report on UFOs. But when, you know, when people think of mysterious things flying in the sky and aliens, they think of NASA. So what have you guys been briefed about in terms of this report? Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bahasham Yahushai. Bahasham Harachakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who rule well and taught us this 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be unto you, hopeful elect out there. Pushing out this word without truth and sincerity. Shalom. I'm gonna title this. I'm gonna title this video. The heathens are dismayed. And forgive me for my voice. It's scratchy. But you know these are just the these bodily ailments that I so dislike. All right, waiting on that kingdom. Hoping for a better day. Anyways, as you saw in the video, and these 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 people want answers. You got the public out there just wondering what they are. Yeah, Jake, all right, these damn devils and these heathens out there, you know, just wondering what 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 these what what these so-called UFOs are. They're flying around here more and more now, but but they've been here for 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 generations, not just going back to a few decades ago, but they've been around here for centuries, and you could even tell that by the paintings that you've seen, and even the scriptures, even the scriptures talk about this because, as we say, the scriptures. There's a scripture for everything, and you know the the the, the so-called UFOs, who you you know what you call so-called UFOs, which are actually the chariots. You know they're they're biblical, and yeah, that's what they are. They're chariots, chariots of the Most High. They're spiritual, spiritual vehicles. You cannot destroy them. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter five, verse two, and he said unto me, What's he thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. All right, you see a roll, like an ancient roll, a paper, you know, like a scroll. And you, you see it flying, man. What do you see? You see a line, but as you get closer, you start to see it's a, it's a circle. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stayeth shall be cut off as... On this side according to it, and every one that swear shall be cut off as on that side according to it. All right, this is a curse that goes forth across the whole face of the earth, you know, the sur the surface. You know, they're flying around in the sky, you know, they splash into the ocean. But why? You know who and, and, and who and who and who drives these spiritual vehicles? The angels, man. All right, who you so and you call it these so called aliens? Calling them extraterrestrials, which, you know, in a way they are because, you know, they're spiritual. They're from the spirit world, the spirit realm. Right? They're, 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 they're the angels. And what are they doing in those chariots flying around? You know, they're, they're investigating. This is the book of, um, actually, it's like, yeah, the book of Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the, good and the evil and the good. Yeah, man, you know, the, the angels are the, are the eyes. And they report everything unto the Heavenly Father. You, you had a 
you had you had a situation like last week, I, I believe, where you had this one, you know, you had this one Eve out there, you know, dancing in, in the TikTok, and you see a cherry just, whoosh, you know, just flash right through. And you have that in many cases, right? Because the, the, the these chariots are out there beholding the evil and the good. You you see videos from the brothers they're doing sit down to camp and and you see a cherry in the background just appear. Just a quick swish. And that's ultimately because because of the curse that go forth over over the face of the earth. You know these cherry these angels are reporting what they see unto the Heavenly Father. By way of the chariots. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 7. Surely the Lord, Yahweh, will do nothing, but he revealeth the secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And you got all these heathens out there dismayed, wondering what they are. You know, they're like, why, why is this happening? Why are they coming out more frequently? What, are we going to get an alien invasion? Well, as a matter of fact, we are getting, we're, we are going to get an alien invasion. All right. But you guys don't know that. You guys don't probably understand what these things are. You're out there just wondering what you, you're just out there, you know, adding what you've seen from movies and, you know, from your own knowledge, just trying to decipher what they are. But yeah, man, these secrets are only revealed unto, unto the Lord's servants, the prophets, man. You, those those guys you see out there in the highways and byways, the ones you you you, you guys call you guys so so lucky. Like, yeah. The ones you so call, the ones you guys so, ah, slack you. The guys you call niggas, you know, out there in the corner, in the street corner, teaching. Man, those are the same guys that the Lord chose, that the Lord ordained. And the Lord has revealed these secrets unto them, you know, the spirit, by, by way of the scriptures, man. And, you know, most people can't get these scriptures, man. They don't understand anything about it. Why? Because they're spiritual. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But how do you get knowledge? You know, you have to understand these things by seeking wisdom out. You know, more than rubies. Because knowledge is like the most important thing. Knowledge is far beyond important. And it's better than than these riches, man. As the scriptures say, you cannot serve two masters at once. You cannot serve God and, and, and mammon. Mammon meaning riches. It will serve you how about Hashem Yahushua because these riches of this earth, man, these these aren't. You cannot compare these to what you get. Those are just accessories. You know. That's why we're out there, you know, hastening the day for the coming of Yahushua, Hamashiach. You know, our our Lord and Savior. You know, our our Messiah. Who will you know bring the bring the kingdom? And once then, you know, you're gonna have your eternal rest. For you Israelites out there. But I'm, I'm going to read it again. But he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Or right, you cannot get this as a normal person. You cannot you cannot perceive this by yourself, by your own will. You only, you only understand these secrets if you're a prophet. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the sign of the signs of the heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. And what you see, you got people out there just wondering what they are, either in a good sense or in a bad sense. You know, always cussing when they recall it is. What the hell is that? What the you know, is that? Well, those are chariots. What are their purpose? What are their role? Behold, the, the evil and the good. And the reason why they're popping out more frequently, you know, is because very very soon, you know, it's like an exhorting thing. You, they pop out, and you know the brothers out there always glorifying the heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son. Damn man, if I see a cherry right now, I'm gonna go crazy. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, fall on my knees and just thank the heavenly Father. Cause these are, these are, you know, just an exhorting thing to see them. They're, but, but they're popping out more frequently because you know, you know, the days are are coming. All right, Yahweh Shai is coming soon, and and he's coming soon. He's coming soon to do two things. Once the destruction of Babylon comes, you know these chariots are gonna 
are gonna are gonna shoot this play the hell as well. But they're also gonna deliver the elect. The elect from the chosen of from the chosen nation of Israel. They're chosen within the chosen. It's not confusing. The Lord specifically chose a certain remnant from his chosen nation to do his will and you know to to you know bring back the two thirds. Afterwards in the in the kingdom of uh, of 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 Salaki, the kingdom of the kingdom of Yahweh. All right, Yahweh Shai will rule that kingdom. He'll be the king, and we'll be the kings underneath him. This is a book. I already got that out, but yeah, Proverbs fifteen and three: the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. And yeah, they're be they're beholding this wicked place right now. You know, they're right now, everywhere scattered abroad, just looking at this this wicked kingdom, this sinful kingdom which will fall. And they're looking at the good as well. You know, looking at the brothers, making appearances by way in the videos. But yeah, Isaiah 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots. All right, those so-called UFOs. Yet keep in mind, these are spiritual vehicles. For behold, the Lord will come, Yahweh Shai will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Whirlwind, whirlwind for all you simple-minded people. It's like a tornado, man. You know, they come in quick. And will come, and with this chariot, to like, yeah. For behold, the Lord will come with this, with fire, and with this chariot, like a whirlwind. To render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. You know, the Lord is very angry. The Heavenly Father is very upset. And what's he going to do? He's gonna destroy this place of hell. And you might be like wondering, oh, why is he gonna do that? Well, because you know the Lord I thought the, the so like, yeah. Why is he gonna do that? I thought I thought God was all about love. No, he isn't. He only shows love to his elect, the ones he's dealing with right now, the people that seek him. As the scriptures say, um, you love me, keep my commandments. And as the scriptures say, if you love me, I shall love you more than your mother does. Uh, roughly paraphrasing here. But, you know, Yahweh is going to, you know, Yahweh is going to let loose. going to go angry. He is angry right now. He's mainly angry with you, with you, so-called white man. All right, he, he hates you, you, you so-called white man, which are biblically known as the Edomites. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, render his anger with fury. And this rebuke with flames of fire. He's going to destroy the, the, this place to hell. Along with these missiles. Just think of that kind of fire. Think of that kind of power. You know, the impact of these ICBMs. These nuclear missiles. Hitting the ground of, of Babylon the Great. Right? Of America. Along with the force and strength of the Lord's chariots, man. It's going to be... It's going to be... Just you can't even imagine it, man. This is gonna be dangerous. First Thessalonians, so like First Thessalonians, chapter four, verse seventeen. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. It's talking about the elect out there, you know, getting beamed up by the chariots when that destruction comes, because the Lord is not gonna. So for people to freaking die here. If if it was so, you know, then there'll be a whole different story. But the Lord ain't, ain't doing that like doing that again. He ain't repeating the same thing as Israel did, you know, having to wait in forty years in the wilderness. No. He has an elect that he set up from, you know, before the foundations of the earth were formed. He preordained he preordained this. Preordained. So we shall be Lord willing, you know, we have the elect, we we have the hopeful elect out there because we're hopeful. All right, we're, as, as, as the scriptures say, we're prisoners of hope. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And when we get beaten up, then, then what happens then? We're going to be brought to our land. But first of all, 
This week a kingdom got to go. Right? We ain't going to have two kingdoms at once. No, because this kingdom is going to overthrow every single mountain, every single kingdom. Mountain meaning government. Or, you know, we're, we're going to take over you nations. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Anyways, I hope this video was edifying. Hope you, 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 you public, all right? You, 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 you heathens out there. You Jake. I right, hope you guys understand now. All right? And um, first of all, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Mahabrahakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule well and taught us his 100% truth. Much peace and blessings be unto you. Hopefully, like that there, but not this word without truth and sincerity. Shalom.